In this video, we'll demonstrate how you can create an Android application from a collection of HTML files. We'll be using DocProtect on either a Mac or Windows computer. DocProtect creates desktop applications for Mac or Windows. There's also a Linux version of DocProtect. But the Android capabilities specifically are only in the Mac or Windows version. So using DocProtect, we can generate the source code of the Android project. And then with Android Studio, we can compile that into an APK file that gets delivered to a user's device. Let's start in the source folder by looking at this exam folder where we have a collection of HTML files. If we just double click the main HTML file and run it in a browser, we can get a basic idea of what the application does. So we essentially have an HTML based application that asks a series of questions for multiple choice answers. So the user can read the question, pick an answer, go to the next one and so on. We also, in this source folder, we have a JPEG file that we can use for an icon and uh, an image that we can use for uh, a background image of our Android application. So we're going to launch DocProtect and set up a record of information to, to find this Android app. So in our record name field here, we've named a record and we've selected Android as the type of project that we want to do. We've given a name to our application. We've selected the path to our main HTML folder and the main HTML file within that folder. And finally, the output folder into which we want to generate uh, our source folder for the Android project we're generating. We also need to set up a couple items on the Android panel. You'll need a company domain. It assigns that to your application. And then we have a path to our icon image and a path to our main image. For the moment, we're creating this Android app without any type of licensing applied, but we'll look at that later in the video. When we click the build button, it takes a moment and then it will generate the source folder of our Android project. If we navigate into our output folder, we'll find the exam folder. That's the source folder of Android projects that was generated by DocProtect. And we're going to use Android Studio to compile this into an APK file. So we've opened up the project into Android Studio, and we do that by simply uh, launching Android Studio and under the file menu, just choose open and then navigate to the project that you want to open, in which case uh, we've navigated to this exam folder and then just click open. So once we open the project, we're going to need to build it into an APK. No programming changes are required. So we'll simply go to the build command here, or the build menu, and select generate signed APK. We'll select APK, click next, and then we need a key store that's used for code signing our generated application. And you can get a key store by simply clicking on the create new and filling in a dialogue of information where you assign a password and such, it'll generate that key store. And it's stored as a file that we can then select in this field here, where we can later on just choose an existing key store for any new project that we want to apply it to. And you also fill in the password and stuff that was assigned when you generated it with this uh, screen as presented by this Create New button. We'll click Next. We want to click uh, generate a release version of the APK. And when we click the button, it has now generated our APK file. So if we go back to our project and 
under the application folder we select release and this is our APK file which we can rename it to whatever we want and this is what gets distributed through our website or through an app store of some type uh, to the user's device. And let's just call it exam. Rather than downloading the APK to a physical device, we can also run it within the emulator from Android Studio itself. So we select the device that we want to emulate. And then we went, when we click on the run button here, it runs our application right in that emulated Android device. So we see our application, which is a series of questions and multiple choice answers that the user can click through. If you plan to sell your Android application, you may want to apply licensing to it so that during the purchase process, you can deliver a serial number to the customer and then on first launch of your application, they'll be required to enter that serial number to activate your app to their device. We're gonna demonstrate how that's set up now. There's two parts to this licensing system, cloud license. And that's the server part, and that part gets set up within DocProtect by filling in some information on the Android panel here in this Cloud License Details section. The other part is what gets set up in a Safe Activation Service 3 account, or alternatively, you can self-host the Cloud License Server on your own Linux or Windows website. So we won't cover everything in detail on this setup process because it is detailed step by step in a PDF file, but let me give you the main uh, concept. You're going to, within your safe activation account, you're gonna set up a product edit page that has information about how to activate your product. And so you'll name the record, put in this activation calculation and fill in some other information. You can see we've linked this record to a group of serial numbers that we've already generated for this product and also linked it to an activation form which determines what fields of information are collected from the user during the activation process. We've set it up for serial number required, enabled the activation checkbox here, and we see there's a some corresponding information between this and what's set up in DocProtect. So for example, within DocProtect, we've set this up to be a simple product license. We've got this fixed URL to the server, and we've we can create a just a random 10-digit ticket code. We've typed that number in here, and that corresponding number we've entered here. We'll go to the bottom of the screen, click Save Data, and then it kind of summarizes the information on the results page here that's needed to set up the re remaining fields here in DocProtect. So for example, we want to set up the DB, we want to set up the vendor ID there, the DB6 there, the product ID there, and we've set, set it up to collect an email and company name, and by default, it's always collecting the serial number from the user uh, on first launch. So once we have everything set up, you're going to click the build button and it's going to kind of outline the whole process. We'll click OK and then replace the existing Android source folder of files on our inner output folder. We've now opened our newly generated Android project into Android Studio and we could Go ahead and build the code signed APK file like we did before. But for this video, let's just run our application in the emulator by clicking the run button. 
and it's running in the emulator and this time we'll notice that it's going to prompt us to enter our serial number. So we're going to enter the serial number, our company name, and an email address. Now when we click Activate Now, the application uh, communicates with the server, activates the license, and then you're able to click the Start button to launch the application.